And that family's attorney says that the patient contracted a deadly mold infection while here at the hospital and he later died. Now it was so bad, in fact, that they say he got delirious at one point, cut through his tubes, ran outside and got into the parking lot naked before later dying a short time after he was brought back inside and got more treatment. But they say the main thrust of their argument is that UPMC knew how dangerous that mold was, but they didn't follow their own policies to prevent other patients from getting it. It's absolutely essential that someone take this seriously, and no one has. Lawyers for Daniel Krieg's family told me UPMC didn't follow its own policies on preventing mold, even though four other patients before him got fungal infections and died. And they believe that same mold is what took the life of the 56-year-old at Montefiore in July. He was a relatively young guy. Uh, he had had a kidney transplant, which uh, generally speaking has a very high success rate and people um, in many instances live fruitful lives and his was unnecessarily cut short. He had a family that loved him and uh, it, it's a very significant loss. The lawsuit filed today claims Krieg was put in a so-called negative pressure isolation room at Montefiore, shown in this picture, even though the hospital knew the rooms could expose patients to mold infections. They also say UPMC didn't put Krieg on antifungal medication until it was too late, even though that was part of their new policy. And they didn't watch Krieg closely enough for a fungal infection when his health fell apart quickly. A UPMC was intimately aware with how dangerous violations of those policies were at that point in time. They'd already seen it destroy the lives of four other transplant patients in the year and a half prior to Dan, and yet all of the violations were allowed to occur again. Now, in the past, UPMC and an autopsy said Krieg died from multi-organ failure, not directly from mold infection. Today, the hospital issuing a statement saying, quote, our sympathies are with Mr. Krieg's family and the doctors and nurses who cared for him. We continue to work with our local, state, and federal partners to better understand and learn from the course of his illness. Now, we should point out the family of one other patient who also contracted mold and later died, sued UPMC as well. They settled that case recently for $1.3 million. Reporting live, Bob Hayes in Pittsburgh's Action News 4.